What's up guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to batch number two of the winter upgrades for FIFA Ultimate Team. Today we've got a lot to go through. We've got a 23 round squad to go through first of the highest rated ones. Then we've got ones that I've recommended and that people may miss. And also the informed changes as well, guys. So as always, if you watch 1,000 far as likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me your favorite upgrade so far. And if you've my channel, click the subscribe button for more. So let's get straight into the very first one. The highest one this week is going to be Robert Lewandowski of Bayern Munich. Very deserved. He's gone from an 87, I think it is, to an 88, which means uh, it's three or four and fours how many he has got will also change we'll cover them in a second but still it's a nice card although not many massive changes for him and uh, then we have got Petr Cech a uh, one that I wouldn't say is a massive surprise but he has been changed hence his uh, record breaker being changed as well and his stats have actually changed a fair amount now the joint highest goalkeeper in the Premier League uh, we have got Angel Di Maria another player that's very much deserved gone from an 80, 85 camera I think it is to an 86 right wing again his changes to where his informs will be covered in a moment uh, we've got Gonzalo Higuain the highest scorer in Italy right now I think it's 24 goals 24 games or something stupid like that and he's got from an 84 to an 86 although of all of them his stat changes really disappointed quite a bit because how good he's been his, uh, his shooting's gone up like plus two and he hasn't really changed too much for me and then we have got Ilki Gunda one of uh, Borussia Dortmund this time got from an 82 to an 83 and he's uh, a very nice midfielder anyway his inform has been changed also Henrik Mkhitaryan again of Borussia Dortmund got from an 81 to an 83 one of the best playmakers this season the BPL Dimitri Payet of West Ham's gone from an 81 to an 82 although on head-to-head -head right now he's 84 so I was quite surprised the little upgrade he's got uh, but I'm supposed to keep it in consideration for his team of season coming up and his inform has changed also uh, Romelu Lukaku a great player this season for Everton and he's gone from an 81 to an 82 and actually no from an 80 to an 82 sorry and his inform has changed again a very nice card actually 83 pace 82 shooting 84 physical then we've got Harry Kane of uh, Tottenham this time going up to an 81 that's still underrated but his team of season will probably correct that eventually uh, come this summer we have got Joel Matip of Schalke this time going to an 81 73 pace 80 84 defending and 78 physical for him. Uh, Die Bar, this card's ridiculous. 81 rated, 87 pace, 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, and 75 passing. He's gonna be insane. Gabby of Atletico Madrid has gone to an 81 rated card, although probably one people don't really care about too much. Uh, then we've got Eric Lamela this time. His biggest upgrades are his physical and defending, if I'm correct, gone from uh, to an 80 rated this time. Uh, Timo Horn, the goalkeeper from uh, Cologne, I think that is, gone to an 80 rated goalkeeper. Dusan Basta of Lazio has gone to an 80 rated right back. Um, Samoke changed into defending in a department I think it is and uh, then we have got Roberto Soldado one I didn't really expect would happen but he's gone there to very obviously this summer and he's now actually a 80 rated striker and his biggest changes are his passing I think it is uh, got Marco Nautic killing this season for Stoke now to a 79 left mid I really hope he gets an informed striker card at some point because on FIFA 12 now it was absolutely unreal uh, we've got Loris Acarius a goalkeeper from Mines I think that is um, I, it might be uh, be 79 rated goalkeeper for him Josip Ilic Ilicic I can't say his name probably plays of Fiorentina he's not a 79 rated centre forward uh, we've got Jason Maria this one's crazy Go from like 68 pace to 75 I don't think it remains a non-rare but either way a great great card and a uh, very pace next to Juan Jesus and players like that and then we've got Ivan Marcano going up by 9 pace this time from 60 to 69 um, and now looks a lot better than he used to although he was probably better than that when he was a silver before uh, final two we've got Pontus Vernbloom from CSK going to 79 CDM and uh, Jonathan Dos Santos 79 right mid for Villarreal and now we've got players that I am going to look out for mainly and these ones that might go under the radar just a little bit. First up, we've got Cedric Bakambu, a strike this time from Congo. Although I think he's French. I might be wrong, looking at the wrong player here, but he's gone from a left mid to a striker and he's gone from a silver to a gold. He's got a big upgrade. Now I have 86 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 physical, 77 shooting, and 71 passing. A great, great card. Uh, Martin Braithwaite, the D uh, Danish, Danish, yeah, Danish player from Toulouse, gone to 78 rated striker, uh, very pacey, and for the French league teams. This one's a strange one though. Omon Niasi, he's uh, now Everton's new striker they bought from... Uh, Locomotive Moscow I think is in Russia and he's not been transferred yet but his upgrade is still in Russia it's very much a strange one and then we've got quite a big pace upgrade this time for Arta Boca a Malaga left back and now got 84 pace at left back uh, we've got Alan Halilovic it's a very nice one the Barca youth player out on loan this season has gone from a silver to a gold a very, very nice looking card indeed some nice pace upgrade on him uh, we've got Scott Sinclair a surprise one but he's gone from a left mid to a left wing that is pretty much the only reason he's got upgraded because of stat change another silver to gold one is going to be Jelson Martin a very nice right mid this time from Sporting Lisbon and he's got 92 pace 83 drilling 4 star skill he's an absolute monster of player I love this silver card uh, Sergi Rico going from a silver to a gold for a severe in goal and now we have got Zakari Bakili Bakali that's, yeah that's the one <laughs> plays for Valencia and it, despite them being very poor this season he's gone from a silver to a gold Marvin Matip just like his brother I think it is has also got an upgrade this time to a, a the 75 rated gold I think it's just plus one and his inform does not change unfortunately uh, we've got Luis Muriel going from a silver to a gold very nice 
last card and uh, I choose me a squad yesterday. And then we've got Mbaye Niang. Now uh, finally a goal player again for AC Milan. Now 75 rated. Bill Hammond, the USA goalkeeper. is finally a nice rare goalkeeper in that MLS league. Um, he's better than the likes of, I forgot his name, the, the really small guy. You know what I'm on about. But either way, nice goalkeeper for MLS squads. Uh, Julian Weigel of Borussia Dortmund. Now a 74 rated CDM. Very nice card. And the final two, Nabi Keita. A, a not quite nice card, but his informal I don't think changes it at all. And the final one, Mahmoud Dahoud, a very nice player from Montreal Gladbach, and that upgrade is sick. He has gone from a bronze to a silver. Very nice changes right there. Now though, we go on to the informed changes. There's only 13 I'm going to go through because I'm not going to go through every single stage of theirs. But this is the highest rated Lewandowski we have now. 92 rated with 84 pace, 95 shooting, 92 drilling, 89 physical, and 82 passing. Gonzalo Higuain is now 89 rated, 92 shooting, 88 dribbling, 84 pace, 75 passing, and 79 physical. We've got Angle Di Maria now 88 rated at right wing, 90 pace, 90 drilling, 90 passing, 86 shooting. That is a great guard. There's record breaker Petrček's new stats. Asin rated for him, a very nice goalkeeper. And uh, one that I may actually try now. Them stats are crazy good for a goalkeeper. Uh, now we've got Henrik Mkhitaryan, 84 rated right winger this time and uh, 87 pace, 89 dribbling for him. Then we've got Harry Kane, 84 rated for him now with 88 shooting. Ilki Gundogan has an 84 rated centre midfielder this time and I think he's still got four star skill moves, four star weak foot. We've got Dimitri Payet going from an 81 in form or 82 in form to an 83. Not many changes, but has got 85 passing, 86 dribbling. Romelu Lukaku now 83 rated, 84 pace, 86 shooting, 86 physical, an absolute monster up top. The final few, first up, Dybala. Look at this, this card, by the way. 83 rated, and no wonder people are invested in them. Stats are crazy good. 89 pace, 92 dribbling, 87 shooting, and 81 passing on just an 83 rated card. And if you get to team of the season, that'll be out this world, and even better than that silver one he got last year. The final three, first up, Joel Matip. I have that one in my club, but not many changes for him. Uh, we've got Eric Lamela to an 81 rated card and uh, still looks pretty usable now and also Timo Horn going to an 81. So there we have it guys, these are all the players that I've recommended and also players that are higher rated and there will also be a link down below in the description to every single one of these upgrades if you have missed any guys. So enjoy today, smash the like button, 1000 fire likes would be absolutely awesome. If you'd my channel, click the subscribe button for more. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.